Photo AI, a new software from Topaz Labs, will make your workflow a lot, lot faster. Let me show you how. Hi, it's Peter here, and let's get right into the business. Before we get into that, let's talk about a few things and a disclaimer. This video is made based on Photo AI 1.0. So if you watch this later, I might have some newer videos about Photo AI on my channel. Go check out that. I'm using the standalone version. Photo AI works also as a plugin for Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, and Photoshop Elements. I actually did not know that there is still Photoshop Elements, but now I know. And then it also works as a plugin for Capture One. I will link to the system requirements in the description down below. I will also have an affiliate link in the description, so if you want to test it, much appreciated if you use that link. What is Photo AI? I would describe it as a user interface for Gigapixel, Denoise, and Sharpen. But it is, of course, a lot more. When you open an image on Photo AI, it will analyze the photograph and the things that it will look in your photograph are. File type to use the best models to process RAW and other file formats. Metadata, ISO, and camera info. The subject and blur. Human faces and the face quality. And I think face quality does mean technical quality, not the looks, I guess. Noise severity and type, image size and resolution. And based on those things, it will make the adjustments. Topaz Labs calls this autopilot. What Photo AI is not. It is not a full editing suit, editing suit like Lightroom Classic or Photo Lab 5 from DxO. So you will need additional software if you want to do more than just uh, upgrade, uh, upgrade, upscale your image, uh, reduce noise or sharpen your image. If you want to do anything else or something else, you will need some other editing software too. I do not want AI to edit my photos. I want to do it myself. Yeah, this is probably something that you will say or some of you will. And of course, that's also what I think. I want to do the editing myself. But then we have to think what photo AI actually is and what Topaz Lab says on their website. And I quote, AI is exceptionally good at improving image quality, but bad at knowing what to do with the image. And I think that says a lot. It's a good help. And as you probably will already guess what the improvement in speed is, but I will talk about that a bit later. What are your thoughts on AI and image editing? Do you like it or not? What are your thoughts on AI in general? What when it comes to photography and image editing? Please let us know in the comments down below. So what does Photo AI do? It will reduce noise and sharpen your image and make it look better. It won't affect the content of your image, of course. It won't affect the mood. It won't affect the story. The only thing it affects, it will make the image technically better looking. And we have to remember that these things are done only if needed. The Photo AI will analyze the image and do the adjustment accordingly. Adjust yourself. Of course, you can adjust the result that Topaz uh, Photo AI gives you. It's a starting point. But in many cases, I found that it is enough. It does very good job. I have not tested it against, for example, DxO Photo Lab 5 and its camera modules and all other things that it does to your image. But what I've learned using Photo AI a few weeks, it will make very, very good results. And in most cases, I'm totally happy with the results like it is. It is good. How it speeds your workflow. Before, you needed three different softwares, Gigapixel AI, Denoise AI, and Sharpen AI to do the things that Photo AI can do, do automatically. So the only thing you need to do is open your image in Photo AI, either in the standalone version or use it as a plugin. Let Photo AI do its magic and you're good to go. And like I said, you can tweak those settings that it the autopilot made. And then there's also another advantage using Photo AI is that you don't have to think, do I need to sharpen first or denoise first or what do I need to do first? Photo AI will figure that out and do it the best possible way for your image. So that also helps us a lot. How good are the results? Well, I already said that they are pretty good and I have, but I have not compared it to other software. I will do that in a later video in this channel, maybe quite soon. I've been very happy with the results and uh, nothing to complain. And I think it's a good way. And especially what I like about it is the speeding that it does to my workflow. It's so much faster to do 
certain things and let AI do it instead of me, because then I can concentrate on the mood of the image and the um, subject and, and, you know, the story. I can, I can tweak that. I can make local adjustments to that. And I think Topaz Lab is into something when they did it this way, because their software are good, but the workflow hasn't been the best so far. But now it gets a lot, lot better with Photo AI. If you want to test or buy Photo AI, first thing you need to do is to log into your Topaz account if you have already some Topaz Lab software and check the price for you. And most likely you still can get it for free if you have Gigapixel, Sharpen and Denoise bundle, then you can get it for free. But check that out. That's not something that I'm totally sure of because I got it that way before the official launch. I could test it before. But check that out. And if you have some of the softwares from Topaz Labs, you still need to check or it's worth checking your price for it. But if you don't have any Topaz Labs software, the price is $159 until October 7th. And after that, it will be $199. So now you can get $40 off if you buy it now and test it. Of course, you can test it before, but I, I, I sincerely say, I very seldom say that if something is worth it, but I think this is worth getting. And there is an affiliate link in the description if you want to test and buy it. If you use that link, I do get a small commission, but you do not pay any extra. So it's a win-win situation and you support my channel, my free content, which is a much appreciated. And I do have a playlist here where there's some more videos about Topaz Labs software, which you might want to check out because there are some tutorials and more in-depth things about Denoise, Sharpen AI and Gigapixel. You might want to watch that next. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.